Well, okay, everybody, welcome. You join us on another sweltering hot day in Germany. Uh, we've come to, guess what? Another castle. This one is in a town called Braunfels. Uh, I don't actually know anything about it other than it looks really nice. So, you know, that what, a winner. what more of an excuse do you need to come to a place exactly. other than it looks nice? So, it looks uh, nice. Here we go. Yeah, exactly. So, let's go have a look. So, we've been into the castle, we went to the courtyard um, and the cafe <laughs> to get the ticket. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is why we go to do research. So, the, the castle is privately owned, uh, which means that you can only go through the castle with the tour guide. All the tour guides are in German. If you want to have an English one, you've got to book it two, three days in advance. Um, which is difficult when you can't actually call German numbers and there's no online ticketing to like book a German, uh, book an English speaking tour. So uh, what we decided to do instead is, uh, is go to a uh, neighboring town, which also has like a ruined castle, which apparently has views of this one. So we're gonna do that instead and then go to a swimming pool and have a, have a nice like, have a nice dip instead, which don't, I think. Don't I do like what we do. Handle. Do your research. Either <laughs> be prepared or learn German, <laughs> learning, so you can understand. Learning German would also be helpful. They're very helpful. Okay, so we've made it to um, the ruin that we're going to be going to. I'm already in, uh, what's the word? Happy. As I forget the word happy. <laughs> <laughs> we're already happy with our decision to come here because the, the woodland is really gorgeous, actually. Oh, yeah, it's really nice. Really nice. Looking through here. So, and hopefully the, uh, the castle will have some good views. And uh, the ruin itself would be quite good as well, I'm saying. Alright. Now that's what I'm talking <laughs> about. <laughs> that wasn't cheesy. <laughs> wow. That's not too bad, is it? That's quite nice. It's nice. Yeah, I definitely prefer views of places rather than the actual <laughs> inside of places. Not that we've been to the inside of the places yet, so I'll actually, that's rather unfair. Rather unfair judgment, but you know, I'm going with it. Let's see if we can take some pictures. After spending some time admiring the castle, we stayed the night at Brownfells and the next day headed up to the town of Wildungen. Right, so uh, we're coming back from the town, Wildungen. We've been there for about four hours. Um, really nice. Because somebody... Well, yeah, we've done, <laughs> done a little bit of retail therapy. You'll see me sporting <laughs> some very fetching sunglasses. <laughs> which only cost one euro. However, <laughs> Yaz's bag, worth many pairs of sunglasses in there, <laughs> of clothes, uh, and some other little bits and pieces, like little, little van upgrade. Things. Right, we're shopping. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're just coming back to the van. Our um, 
our 24 hour parking ticket expired about two and a half hours ago. So he said hello to you. Oh, I wasn't, wasn't looking. <laughs> but yeah, yeah I'm so worried wait. that we're going to have a ticket on the on Ronda. Hopefully, we're going to be okay, but we're going to find out in a second because we're just turning up now. God, there are a lot of things, but I can see the windscreen of Ronda and I don't <laughs> see anything additional on the, wind, on the windscreen, which is good. But I think we'll just go ahead and pay for another uh, pay for another 24 hours because we're going to go up to uh, Yaz's Snow White Castle tomorrow and check that out. Uh, and she's got some fun facts for you <laughs> as well. So we are here at the medieval town of Vildungen and the home to Margaretha von Waldeck, who was another inspiration to the Brothers Grimm Snow White. When she was 16, she was driven out of her home by her evil stepmother. She ran away to Brussels and met the future king of Spain, Philip II. Uh, he fell in love with her, they got married, and by the age of 21, she died of poisoning. Even though it wasn't proven, it was believed that she was poisoned by the royal family because they didn't think that she was a worthy bride to the future king. Hello, so <laughs> here we are, as promised, the Snow White Castle, also known as Schloss Frederikstein. All right, so three euros entry. Apparently there's a really nice cafe up here as well with really good views, so hope we're gonna get a bit of that action as well. Get my cakey cake on. It's okay. They do vegan cake apparently. <laughs> so you join us with the uh, backdrop of Ronda rather than um Frederick Steen Castle for uh, one very good reason. Well, one very disappointing reason, anyway. So uh, we went. We went in. It's uh, it's open, obviously. Uh, the opening hours are ten till five, uh, and we've turned up at about quarter past quarter past one. So we've gone in to go uh, and pay for our tickets, and we're told that you can only go around with a tour guide, and the tour guide is only in German. What we're what we're disappointed with. <laughs> Is they told us no problem because we said okay it's fine we could still look around don't think they said no problem come back in what well at two uh, o'clock was the next yeah. tour yeah so we waited so we just waited like 40 minutes had some cake had a nice hot drink that was all right mm. so then we went back at two o'clock and was just told it's full sorry no a little okay, bit disappointed bye then so, yeah a little bit disappointed yeah. Uh, but you know, we're just taking it as it comes. It wasn't meant to be. That's what I said. But we have, yeah, <laughs> we have a we have a next place lined up anyway, which is still uh, down Yazzie's Princess Snow White theme yeah. for uh, route. Yeah, down route. the route. Yeah, so we're gonna go there instead. So the museum opens at three. No, at four. Three. three. Opens at three. So we've got just uh, just under an hour, and it's only like twenty minutes away. So. We go there. We're going to make sure we're there on time. <laughs> As... First in the line. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're going to move. We're going to move on. Move we're going on. to go to our next place. All right, saddle up. Here we are at Snow White's house. really is a very fairy tale little town yeah, yeah. so what did you think of uh, the uh, the dwarf's house cute cute <laughs> <laughs> enjoy yourself <laughs> oh, haven't worn a mask Good in a while to bring your kids and stuff it's just it's cute <laughs> 
It's definitely a kids thing. It's just yeah, like an acti- it's like an activity center. Yeah. Really, where you can just like learn a little bit about the dwarfs and do some coloring and <laughs> play with some toys and yeah, yeah. yeah that was nice. I've done coloring <laughs> we, for a long time. Yeah, Quite happy with my we picture. enjoyed ourselves, so that's why. Mine was better. <laughs> All right. Are we done? Yeah. We're done. All right. Now we've got to figure out where we're going tonight. Let's go do that. Hello, welcome everybody. You join us still Sorry. in Germany. What are you doing? Where are we? This was a surprise, apparently. I don't so, know where we are. Well, I brought you out. Brought you out for a surprise. We had a few. <laughs> well, we had a few days off because we were feeling a little bit burnt out and you know, yeah, we, tired you know, and you stuff. need the time to just. So yeah, so we put the camera not, down. Not like this is stressful. I mean. <laughs> no. Not at all. You know, phew, so stressful. Yeah. <laughs> but you do, you do need to take a couple of days yeah. for yourself. But it's definitely something that I think I've learned, anyways. Is uh, yeah, you need to space stuff out and take breaks. And ultimately, we are travelling, but we're also on holiday. So holidays are supposed to be relaxing, not supposed to be stressful. So we'll take you around, and um, hopefully, it's going to be good. This is Bergpark Wilhelmsauer. Stretching 2.4 kilometers down the hillside, you begin under a monument to Hercules, experiencing stunning views down to the palace below. The palace itself is home to collections of antiques and artwork from across Europe and is surrounded by gorgeous gardens and artificial water features. We paid 10 euros to park Ronda for the day. Entrance to the park is free and tickets to the palace start at around 4 euros. So then Yazzie, what do you think of your surprise? Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> it's pretty good, hey? Mm -hmm. I didn't know what it was going to be like, but it's pretty amazing. Oh, look at the look at this view. Yeah. But, <laughs> do you want to know a secret? Yes. This is not actually the surprise. There's more? There is more. So, <laughs> what? Well, you may have noticed a lot of water features around yeah. that aren't doing very much at the moment. So this whole place is one big water feature. And very shortly it's going to start what? so we're just choosing a good spot for when it does begin so Hercules is right the way up there yeah he's the very beginning so the water starts up there it's going to come down the big steps oh. and it's going to flow through there onto that and then it's going to go all the way to the bottom oh, wow. and then we're going to continue further down towards the palace and we're going to follow the water as it goes. Yeah. All right. There's water starting to come down underneath. It's getting higher, We're definitely in the splash zone. Every Wednesday, Sunday and public holiday, Berg Park Wilhelmsohe open up all the taps at 2.30 and shows off its main water features. It's then a race against the water to the bottom. Here we are. We made it to the front. Quick, get to the bottom. She's going. That was a stressful descent down to the bottom. There's so many people here, I can't even find the atom. I want to see now. I don't know how I managed to find the shortest person in the park amongst all these people. Hi. Well, you? <laughs> <laughs> you got a good shot? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Just saying, that was a very stressful descent down to the bottom. I'm tired. It's <laughs> like running. Oh. Oh, they go all the way. Oh, it went, the water moved a lot slower than I thought it so would though, so it's good. It's good, it gives you time to like keep up. 
So you ran like halfway down just yeah. to catch up with it and yeah. you managed to get ahead of it. I'm, I really should have stopped over there to get a nice picture. You know what I mean? That was pretty good. You then have time to slow down and enjoy the remaining water features as they make their way to the palace. Wilhelmshohe was one of my favourite places in Germany and is definitely worth visiting. My advice would be to arrive early as it does get very busy during the high season and make sure to come on a day that the main water features are on. Check out the website linked in the description for more info. That brings us to the end of part 2 of our German van life mini-series. If you like this video, make sure to check out our channel for other van life videos and hit the like and subscribe button to make sure you catch part 3 as we head south to the German Alps. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time.